what is going on everybody absolute pleasure having you i'm susu for those of you that don't know and uh what an awesome day today for a lot of the stuff i called over the last week i've been especially from yesterday uh, forgive me from uh, friday i'm telling you it was a big deal a lot of stuff up i mean like the average call was like a 15 percent return but what i'm specifically watching right now and i have to be watching closely is uh, VSTEM, VSTM right here. It's Veristem. But the reason why is because it has this fight right here. It's it's approaching, see how it approaches right there. The um, That's the 50-day moving average, okay? The 50-day simple moving average. And the reason why I said to put this on your watch list, top of your list just the other day, was because look right here. It had initially broke through the uh, original resistance that it had right there with almost no problem and then what happened was it left that that hole this space right here see that space between that blue line whenever that happens a lot of times the stocks want to run up to meet it and that's what it did this morning i mean almost immediately and then it just broke right through it i was like oh shit now the thing about it is a lot of people say to me but why do you wait so late to buy like why didn't you buy then or before i'm actually the kind of person who will be rather wait for a higher price to buy and the reason why is I'm looking for confirmation of upward momentum. Okay, so I know a lot of the times, and when I say a lot of the times, I mean like 50% of the time, they just take it to these lines and then they crash it back down. Like all it is is it's just the know-hows, right? The people that really know what they're doing using algorithms and their normal uh, proprietary technology to trade it up to a line, they get out of it. And then it drops and then it's stuck down in this dismal area for the next three months and it happens all of the time so i refuse to fall for that i want to see that line broken because i know with as much interest i mean forgive me as much short interest as it has which if you take a look right here it has 28.8 percent of float as of may 31st so you're looking at hey siri what is 129 million times 0.28 129 million times 0.28 is 36 million 120,000. So you're looking at 36 million 120,000 shares. Today was only a 6 million share day. So it, there's no possible way that all of that was covering, right? There's just no fucking way that that is not, it never happens that way. But a million of it could have been covered. You know, maybe 1.5 million could have been shares covered. Now there's still a massive amount, 36 million shares. So if, even if it was 3 million, there is still 33 million shares yet to be covered. And what that means is, is if you get that line to break, a lot of them do. You saw what happened with Sorrento Therapeutics. I'll add that to this video, might as well, because they were in the same exact predicament, but they actually broke their line and look what happened. I was saying, watch this because it becomes a tough thing. The other day it went right there to that pink line. We'll snap a shot and zoom in on this, but it went right there to the pink line. See right there? And then it just dropped back down because it couldn't take it. Well, today it initially went to it, it failed, came back down, and then and I said, here it is, it's gonna approach it now, it's gonna approach it again, see if it can do it. And sure as shit, it did. And now you can't see from this chart, but look what happens when it actually broke it, which the price to break it was about 354 by time it did it. As you see, it went back to 355. But look at what happened when it broke it. <clears throat> so there it is right there. That's it. See how the high on that candle? Do you see how it says the high is 356 for that candle? That was the break. See the high right there, 356? So look what happened. Once it snapped, it broke it there, they tried to take it back down. They thought maybe they could short away from the line. It wasn't working, and they knew it, and boom. Boom, 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 boom. That's what happens. So that's what happens when shorts go, oh, shit. Now, with Sorrento, it's even scarier for them because, look, on the three-month, there's nothing above it. There's nothing up here. It's open space. Go to the six-month. Go to the one-year. Go to the five-year and see what happens when it tends to crack these things. It tends to break through its lines and it goes apeshit when that happens. So you're in a situation here where for sure 100% there's a chance Sorrento is going to run again. And I say 100% chance, that's kind of dumb. It's like 100% chance, you know, but, but I guess what I'm getting at is there is a very, very good chance that Sorrento runs majorly here. Um, and so I just wanted to point those two out because right now VSTEM's trying to fight 
the same fight and they're doing it on the 50 day line and if they break it they're going to be in the same predicament as as Vista. the only difference uh between sorrento and Vista is if you actually look at veristem they have the the 200 day way up here see it's right up there you see that pink line right there with the fourth about 407 so it is up there and that will work as resistance but that's a lot of open space why don't we go back and look at the last time it cracked through Let's just take a look at the last time I cracked through a 50 day. Mm hmm. Right there. Look, cracked through the 50 day and then it like held it and then boom, look at that. It went almost to five. Let's go back to, uh, let's take a look here. Oh, look right here. Look at the last time I cracked through its 50 day there. It had nothing above it though. This is what Sorrento's dealing with right now. Look at that. Boom, tried to go, they rejected it, tried to go, and this time they gapped up above and look at how it just never stopped went all the way to nine, almost 10. Uh, I think it did, not yeah, it ended up going over 10 here. And that's what happens. It ended up being the blue line, as you can see. Once it got out from under there, look what it ended up using as its mechanism of reflection. It ended up changing from anything to this blue line right here, which is your 28-day uh, EMA. And so keep that in mind. Once you get going, there's gonna be another line. And once you spot what that line is, because you'll see it bounce off it a couple times, it almost becomes sad how easy it can be to trade. Matter of fact, the very next video, I'm going to talk about MBY Nova Bay Pharmaceuticals. So I hope you guys saw this. I hope you guys reacted to some of my posts. I hope it was helpful and I hope you make a lot of money. In the end, I'll be in there with you. But right now I'm going to do Nova Bay because there's a little secret I found out about them that blew my effing mind when I realized what it was. And by the way, happy Father's Day to everybody. Huh? I'll show you what I got on the next video. All right, peace. Well, 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 well.